In this section, first we are going to look at an exercise um, which applies what we've learned about our labour cost systems. And then after that, we are going to introduce a new consideration, which is bonus payments to our production line workers and how we calculate their bonuses. So, beginning with our first exercise then, we are told a company employs three workers who are paid on a piecework or a piece rate basis. The rate of pay is 225 for each unit produced up to 100 units. After that, they will get £3 per unit. So this is a differential piece rate basis. There is a guaranteed minimum weekly wage of £180. Then we're given the output in a particular week for three different employees, and we need to calculate what their total wages will be and based on their activity. So if we go through each of our three employees and see how much they are going to be paid. So employee A has produced 96 units. And we've been told they'll get paid 225 for the first 100 units. This employee hasn't gone above the threshold, so our lower rate per unit will apply to all 96. So they have earned 96 by 225, which is 216. just need to consider, is this higher or lower than the minimum wage? We're told in the question the minimum wage is £180. Employee A has earned more than this through their activity, so we're going to pay them the higher of the two, so the £216. Let's have a look then at employee B. Employee B has produced 122 units. So first we'll think about how much have they earned and is this higher or lower than the minimum wage. Remember, we were told in the question that they get paid 220, excuse me, £2.25 for the first 100 units. If employee B has produced 122 units, then for the first 100, they're getting £2.25, which gives us 225. And for the remaining 22 units, they're getting £3 each, which is 66. So in total, they have earned... 291 pounds. This is well above the minimum wage, so we're going to pay them the 291. Finally then, moving on to employee C. Employee C has produced 76 units. They're below the threshold of 100 units, so the lower rate of 225 will apply to all units. So 76 by 225 gives us 171. Are we going to pay them 171 pounds? No, we've been told in the question that the minimum wage is 180, so we will always pay them at least that. So we're going to pay this individual 180 pounds, the minimum wage. So, there are total wages for each of the three employees, if we just sum them together. We had 216 for employee A, plus 291 for employee B, 
plus the 180 for employee C. So our total is equal to 687. Okay, moving on to our next section. What we want to consider here is our bonus payments to our production line workers. Now bonuses are likely to be paid to our production line workers when they have been more efficient than we expected them to be. So perhaps we have said to them at the start of the year, we expect it to take you two hours to produce a single unit of our product. But if you can produce our units faster, so in one and a half hours, we will reward you with some kind of bonus. So our bonuses then are going to be based on efficiency. We would usually calculate our bonuses by comparing the standard hours for the units they've produced with the actual time taken. All we are really looking here is at how long we would have expected it to take them to produce a given number of units and how long did it actually take. If we just note that down. First we will look at the standard hours of actual production. and work out how many hours that is. Our standard hours of actual production will just be the units they have actually produced multiplied by the standard time to produce each unit. So how many units have they actually produced and how long would we have expected this to take? Once we've calculated that, then we look at the actual time taken. So the actual number of hours they have spent working on these units. We just compare these two figures and the difference between the two is the time saved. So we will work out how, many, how much time have they saved by being more efficient than we expected them to be and we will probably pay them a certain percentage of their basic rate for each hour they have saved. So let's have a look at an exercise now to see how we deal with our bonus. So we're told then a jobbing company operates a premium bonus scheme for its employees of 75% of the time saved compared with the standard time allowed for a job at the normal hourly rate. So in other words, this individual will get paid 75% of their basic rate for each hour they have saved. Then we're given the data relating to a particular job and we're told that the allowed time for job 1206 was 4 hours. So this is our standard hours for this particular job. The actual time taken was 3 hours. And we have a normal or basic hourly rate of £8. And all we have to calculate is how much will this individual be paid in total for this particular job. Their total wages for this job will consist of two components. First of all, as normal, they'll get paid their basic rate for each hour they spent working on the job. But in addition to that, they are also going to get their bonus. So if we look at the first thing then, they'll get their basic. We've been told that their basic rate is eight pounds. How many hours have they spent working on this job? 
were told they spent three hours. So they'll get paid their basic rate of eight pounds for each of the three hours. And that will give them 24. The second thing we need to add on then is their bonus. So we'll just do a quick calculation to work out what their bonus will be. So remember, to calculate the bonus, we're going to look at the standard hours, which were four, and we'll compare this to the actual hours, which were three. The difference were the time saved, just the difference between the two, one hour. Then we've been told in the question that for each hour saved, this person is going to get paid 75% of their basic rate. So they'll get paid 75% of eight pounds, which is six. So their bonus is the number of hours saved multiplied by the bonus for each of those hours. So their total bonus is six pounds. We move this into our exercise, add it in. So we've got our basic and our bonus, so the total wages for the job are 30 pounds. It's a multiple choice question. Let's just have a look to see where it is. Option B, 30 pounds.